Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Mr. Perspective with your daily trading tips. Let me show you exactly how to make coins quick and easy in this game. And you don't need a lot of coins to start off with me. And for the people that have millions, I also have investments for you guys to be making coins for tomorrow. So look, listen up closely so you don't miss out on profits for tomorrow. From yesterday's video, I told you exactly where to buy your cards and people blew it out the water. Thank you so much for the people trading with me. And as you can see, these are the, the filters for today. I'm going to explain it to you nice and easy. These are the daily profits we do every single day. Thank you so much for the people trading with me. And as you can see, we full send our coins. My guy Pollo today made about 200K with the methods. Thank you so much for all the help that you do. We're posting all the stuff so people can see the profits that we make. Now, as you can see, people taking the lower rated fodder, buying them at 200, uh, these silvers, and sell them at 300, I think, 350, making this profit. Not a lot of uh, coins, but still nice to see people trading with those type of cards. Now, from yesterday's video, my guy Muddle Path made such good profits. The way of cards that I told you yesterday to pick up at 1075, look at where we sold them today before content. 13,000 coins, nice and easy. And he's even telling you that he sold his Ericsson at 33 and some of them at 35. Way to go, my guy. Way to go. Making those flips. And as you can see, my guy Soto doesn't stand back, making his 40K with his fodder cards. Thank you so much. And here's Poyo again, once again, trading his cards. Thank you so, so much for trading with me. And as always, we give you daily trades, telling you exactly where to pick up your cards. Here are the trades for today. And I'm going to be re we telling you guys all this later on in the video discussing these prices i just want to show it to you picking up 86 87s tomorrow seems like a safe bet and those team of the week since those team of the week upgrade is leaving us for tomorrow and for the people that don't have have a little bit more coins you can do promo flips we tell you exactly where to pick up your cards which cards to pick up all that type of stuff and keep you nice and safe from yesterday's video you can see uh the mini tau the informs all of that good stuff thank you so so much for all the people that trade with me we are constantly making those coins now let's get going with these filters so we don't take more of your time right now these filters are going to be working with uh the evan diesel leaks the evan diesel leaks and these are low 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 profit ones now let's do it together right now you can mix this up with sniping or mass bidding for me mass bidding does better now these cards right now are selling for about 700 coins 750 on the lazy 700 uh insta you want to sell at 700 750 takes a little bit too much time now where should i buy these cards mr perspective i'm telling you it is so easy to be making coins with this and it's right now see all these cards you can practically be bidding on these cards 500 coins max, 450 would be great, 300 coins would be amazing. Sell this right back at 700 coins, and it is working right now. Now let's go for another one, and this is going to go for the Freyodon. And now this one, I believe this card is selling for about 650. Yep, 650, 700 on the Lazy. And as you can see, one minute from expiring, you don't, you don't want to be selling there. You want to be selling at 650, making your coins nice, back, and easy. And as you can see right here, bid on this card for 400. Oh, look at this, 350. Guys, don't miss out on this easy profit. Practically farming these coins, getting to your limit to where you need to be. I have about like 7 million, and I've been using different type of tactics, but I know how hard it is to get off the game, get off the grind, and start working up to your first 10,000, 100,000. Use these type of methods. They are working so, so well. Now, let's get going with the methods for today because, as you know, the Team of the Week SPC is leaving us for tomorrow. So making those Team of the Weeks rather, rather well. If you want me to give you the investment sooner, go to my Discord. I always tell you as soon as I see them, I post them right up. I post them right up. Now, as you can see, this Team of the Week is leaving us in 15 hours. And there's a lot of still SPCs requiring Team of the Weeks. And we only need one good gamble pack to make these team of the weeks fly so right now try to pick them up at 21 to 5 i see very low risk since right now they're already selling for about almost 24,000 coins on the lazy and lazy method is pretty much just listing your cards and listing them throughout the hour every hour and seeing if they sell those that's what a lazy method is now let's see what's going on for the future uh, promos there is a little bit of a a leak that these dynasty players are headed into packs now 
I believe these radioactive cards are so much better than these ones because this ones, if you put them in your team, you put an icon next to it, which almost everyone has an icon, you get a full cam. So I do believe these cards have a great possibility of bouncing back when they're out of packs. Now, when is the best time to be picking up these cards? I'm going to tell you right now, right? Now, a card that I'm looking at and I'm constantly making coins on, yesterday I told you that way out. Yesterday I told you that Ericsson, if you didn't see that video, you can go back and look at those videos, seeing the fluctuations. But here's another one, Taliska. And right now this card is dropping. And today this card went up to like 250 coins, 217. I think it is on Footbin, but I'm telling you it was selling for 250 coins. For tomorrow, I think this card minimum can go back to like 215,000 coins. Try to pick this card up at like 190. 195 wouldn't be that bad. I see it doing really good on PC. Try to get this card close to 160 and try to look at this card right before content. It is dropping and going right back to 185, making you those nice easy coins on PC. Things are a little bit more uh, crazy of how the price is fluctuating. As you can see, there's a healthy fluctuation. You see the market sleeping, people not paying attention to the game. People wake up, they start buying the card, the card rises rises into content and then it drops with the content because people sell off to do those SPCs. That's a normal fluctuation. Now, as you can see here, people are asleep. The card is fluctuating all the way down. People think this is the lowest. They buy back. They realize that they bought too early. Here it goes right back down. This is a, a constant fluctuation that you can tell. And on PC, as soon as someone raises up the price you know that this card is headed right back and if you see this healthy fluctuation when it goes down and it bounces right back that means that the man so you just got to watch out next time this falls and if it falls down hard enough you know that this card is going to bounce right back and as you can see here it is same thing it rises before it's time goes right back down and there it goes people getting ready to play the game and people are on during this time the mass majority of the people that play this game is around this time. This is the reason why this card rises within these moments. Now, try to get this card on your on PC for 160, making some easy trades. Now, when was the best day to pick up these cards? Now, a cards like uh, like Messi, right? A uh, Messi, I wanted to get him in my club. Now, this Messi card, I believe on Sunday was its lowest for the weekend. Now let's let's check it out together. And as you can see right now, this card is about 2.9. I was trying to get this card for like 2.5, 2.6, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. Just so you can get inside my head and realize, you know what, this is how he's looking at cards, and maybe I should be looking at these cards the same way he's looking at them. And as you can see, this is was its dip, its greatest dip during the weekend, and it was Sunday in the morning while nobody was paying attention. This card was too point six and it started rising it started rising and as you can see it rose a little bit too early cards went all the way back down 2.7 and i said to myself if it goes back to 2.6 i am buying this card now look what happened on monday morning monday morning this is literally like eight in the morning nine in the morning for me i was not playing this game and look at this card went up to 2.5 2.6 if you're interested in buying one of these meta meta cards Go back, look at where these cards were selling on Monday. The next window for these cards to be bought is going to be Wednesday before Rivals. I believe people are going to be panicking out of these cards. These cards are going to drop far enough. And then once Rival comes out, people are going to have that money and go out and invest in these cards. And they're going to start rising, going into the content, to, going into content on Friday. So don't miss out. I'm alerting you early, two to three hours before content. And if you want a little bit more guidance, Go to my Discord, leave a comment on the video, let me know what video, what uh, card you want to buy, and I'll tell you exactly what price you should be aiming for for that day. Thank you so, so much, and I appreciate your time. Now, let's go look at uh, the investments for today, right? Because the investments for today are going to be very simple and very straightforward. Now, the 86, 87s are going to be the best for today, and the reason being is that repeatable SBC that is out. It is constantly pushing these cards up and tomorrow being the last day usually on thursday when marquee matchups comes out these kind of investments don't do so well so for tomorrow it's going to be the last day to be investing with these cards and make sure you list at the prices of the right 
40 to 50 minutes before content so your cards get sold on the lazy and you make that extra extra profit thank you so much for your support and i really appreciate you over here on these team of the weeks please buy these team of the weeks 21 and sell tomorrow before content tomorrow before content those team of the weeks get out of them 24 make those easy coins and if you want to hold them after content doesn't seem that bad but definitely get out of them before friday because that team of the week sbc returns on friday thank you so so much for all your time get trading i can't wait to trade with you over there on discord and remember we go live on twitch helping you sell all your cards thank you so much it is mr perspective with your daily trades